Hi, everybody. This is Chuck Weger. We're at the State Senate Office Building next to the Capitol. And one of the best parts of the job is meeting with area constituents who come here to talk about various concerns, give us updates. And I am joined right now with leaders from Birchwood. And I have Megan Melby from the City Council. Welcome, Megan. Thank you. And Randy LaFoy from Birchwood City Council. You've been mayor and you've had a, a number of hats. And yes, this is true. <laughs> welcome so I, as I well. Have, yes, I do. I've been very, very fortunate. And every time I do these things, it seems like I get back more than what I give. So it's been a very lucky opportunity for me to participate in yeah. city government. You know, it's a, it's a calling, and I've uh, worked with you uh, throughout my uh, 20 Oh. One year is uh, on the well, Senate. And well, fact, you gotta, you've got to go back how far we went, but we so, did. Yes, in fact, I'm meeting your daughter. Uh, in fact, let, let's just share in terms of you know grassroots involvement, yeah. how uh, some students came up with an idea. Well, my daughter was in fourth grade. We were teaching, I was leading a section about the law, and at the same time, they were the doing... The school... Uh, my O.H. Anderson, yeah. Montemita. Right. And they were doing is also doing a thing about monarchs and releasing them. And they, yes. So the students said... Oh, we should make Monarch the state butterfly. And make a long story short, thanks to Chuck and our representative, um, uh, Mayor, uh, Harry, Harry, yeah, Harry, Harry Mayor is from, uh, from White Bear. We did make the, the butterfly, Monarch, Monarch butterfly, the state butterfly. And, uh, Jesse Ventura signed it very happily and excited. Yeah. And they did a lot of research, though, and, oh and, and actually, uh, here uh, today, they, it's, it's a significant issue with 90% yeah. reduction yeah. and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. people being encouraged to provide more uh, oh my gosh, yeah. opportunities for them. So, but It, uh, it, it was a life-changing event for many of those kids because they actually testified before a Senate and House yeah. committees, too. It was, like, it was very cool. And I remember then uh, several of the students, you know, led by you know your daughter uh, and others. They uh, got then to meet with Jesse Ventura, oh and Jesse oh. really <laughs> liked it. And actually, uh, Jesse still doesn't live too far away. Uh, he does have a house in Delwood. Yes, that's right. So, but uh, he thought it was really cool, I mm -hmm. remember, and the kids mm -hmm. all got to meet him. So anyway, that oh, going yes. back. Yes, yes, we got a big a butterfly, monarch butterfly t-shirt now he uses this. Right, so that was fun meeting with the students. Oh and, my gosh. Yeah. And hey, I appreciate that you're, uh, you know, public servants and uh, active in so many issues. Uh, but uh, Megan, you're recently uh, elected yes. to the council. And what are a couple of the highlights you'd, you'd like to share with us and what you're working on right now? Um, a couple things that we're really working on um, are related to parks and trails. So I know, Senator, we, you've been working with my dad from Matamidi on Steve trails. Steve Wilgana. Yep, Steve yes. Algamont. Yep, just around White Bear Lake. Uh, uh, last weekend. So and and really finding ways. We've got obviously Birchwood has a lot of longtime established residents, and then a lot of newer families as well. And really thinking about how do we get people to come together? How do we use yes. our really valuable outdoor spaces in Birchwood, be that our parks um, or the trails that you can get through and and through and around within Birchwood are really important to people. So we're you know as a com as a council, really thinking about what's the right path forward as we look at our parks and thinking about trails. Ben Cree and, and Jean Ruley from the Roads Committee are working with my dad and with that Modern yes. Initiative and the broader, broader Lake Links um, goal, really to make sure that Birchwood is a healthy place where people can spend a lot of time outdoors, get to know their yes. neighbors, um, and just really promote that sense of community. Great. Well, it's something that the, the public strongly supports. I appreciate that. Uh, your dad's efforts, your efforts, and everyone, and ultimately it's it's for the public yeah. and to encourage that outdoor activity. Definitely. Great, and uh, Randy, I know there's well, a I number of issues. I think you mentioned the lakes links. That's the one that's going around the lake, isn't it? Yes. I've been in favor of that for years. It seems like it's just, why is it so hard to build right. a trail around the White Bear Lake, which is people literally do every single day. I, I yeah. Well, quite a bit of the lake has been taken care of, and we mentioned, you know, Harry yeah. Mares, and that mm -hmm. was one of the first bills that I... Uh, sponsored and, and Harry had it and, and uh, I had Silver Lake and still do in my yeah, district right. but there was actually one little section we couldn't quite get uh, on uh, Century 120 whatever yeah, you want to yeah, refer to yeah, it as yeah, yeah. and you know some of the uh, homeowners uh, were a, a bit concerned yet uh, about that easement uh, though people continue to walk by but it's oh, yeah. a little bit more dangerous uh, for sure, uh, oh, yeah. though uh, that's one part, and so we do have trail going around quite a bit of White yeah. Bear, and there's a little bit over by uh, Admiral D's that's almost done that I believe yeah, the county's yeah. working on, yeah. and I know that uh, you know the vision though is to get it complete, and then yeah. it can link with other 
trails and uh, uh, Matamidae City Council, they're going to be doing a resolution of support okay. next Great. week. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you, the most recent update, talk to your dad, mm -hmm. and I know you do. Yep. <laughs> and so uh, Birchwood can will continue to uh, provide whatever assistance yeah. and maybe some good discussions with Delwood would be very helpful. Might be helpful, yeah. There was a nice article in the White Bear Press just this week, so great. it's great. Wonderful. And uh, any other issue that you'd like to share, and I will have you uh, share your well, telephone I, I'll, number I'll as well. I'll be up front, and it's a real touchy subject to level three sex offender. You know, we had one move into Birchwood, and it was like people got really, really upset. And as I look around the state, there's a notice in the paper today, some level three sex offenders moving into West St. Paul. And there needs to be, I'll be honest with you, Chuck, I'll put it back to you, there needs to be some state legislative action. Yes. Because what's happening is all these, all these cities are coming up with these ordinances. How do we react to someone? And so it's these, these level three sex offenders. And Patty Wetterling was incredible, and she came to Birchwood. And really I was did, at, uh, yeah, yeah, at yeah, afterwards, oh but I... Uh, I remember that mm -hmm. you were know, very much involved yeah. in, in oh the gosh. public, and and there was you know, a, a great deal of concern. And oh at the same gosh. time, people, you know, wanting to see something done. But you know, yeah. is this person yeah. truly yeah. rehabilitated? Yeah. When there were a lot of dashboard indicators saying right. reoffend, right. which unfortunately, that, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. Within 48 hours, I believe. Uh, well, not even, well, it was or, even longer than that, but, but pretty close. It was pretty yeah. close, yeah. I mean, which which was good because the safeguards were in place that yes. he did. They caught him right away and moved him. But I guess there's these, and so this balkanization of Birchwood come up with an ordinance. My yep. meeting, I was like, yep. there needs to be some legislative state action. And I don't, no one wants to touch it. I'm sorry, but, you know. Uh, well, no, that's, you know, protecting the public is yeah. Uh, yeah. A, a fundamental role of government, I as know. we know, and you need yeah. to feel safe in your home, your neighborhoods, mm -hmm. you can enjoy that walk. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and so you know, the need for overall state policy yeah, really is fruit. necessary. And, and I would ask, has the League of Cities or some other entity come up with a model yeah. remedy on it? I don't think so. I think uh, it's been city to city. Um, yeah, okay. And there was an article, or a, not an article, a story on CARE 11 just within the last couple of weeks about an offender moving into Hastings. And Hastings yes. was concerned and working on, can we put an ordinance in place? What should we do? Um, and, and part of that news story, um, I'm not sure if it was the chief of police or a police officer from either West St. Paul or South St. Paul, and I don't want to misquote him. Yes. But I thought he said it very well in saying that, you know, city by city, ordinance by ordinance is really not the way to do yeah. this. Yeah, but in the absence of something statewide that figures out the right way to keep people safe, these yeah. city ordinances is the only thing people can do right now. So I, okay. I agree with Randy. I think looking at this more holistically, figuring out what's yeah. the right what's the right path forward to protect the public and children okay. and potential victims while at the same time finding the right avenue that people who have done these things have to yeah. live somewhere um, would really be a, a good remedy um, yeah. and something that we need because I think you're right, city by city isn't the right way to go, but right now that's the only choice that cities have. These balkanizations are down in Iowa. They have instances of these people literally living under like bridges because right. there's no other yeah. place for them to go. So I don't... I'm sorry. Well, well let's open you know, up. Controversial topic, no, but <laughs> that's the an important most one. controversial one I've I've seen oh when my gosh. going out to uh, yeah. uh, crowded Chuck, hearings, and you handled it uh, as. And Chuck, I, I gotta give some kudos to you. You showed up. Yeah, you know, we really appreciate really, all really, of your help. I really, really appreciate your just being there. And it, was, uh, it spoke volumes about you as a person. It so sure did. Thank you very much yeah. for doing that, Chuck. I well, appreciate it. So we we well, really thank appreciate you. it. Not just me, but it's the whole community. Good. It whole was community. really evident. Yes. You were available. You were supportive. You were insightful. Yes. It was it was really helpful for all of yes. us. So thank you. Yeah. And, you. and you were able to listen. To, yeah. And yeah. people people around were talking to you afterwards too. It was like yeah. wow. I mean, I can I imagine some. Some people would not even showing up, and then the other people, as soon as it over, just bolting. But you, you, you stuck around, and you, you walked the walk, which yeah. is which is what I appreciate about you, Chuck. So. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, yeah. You mentioned you know a, a couple of issues, and I know there's many more. Um, and I really like the way you encourage involvement, and uh, I've seen you. Uh, I think you have a, a garden exchange for oh, plants. Oh yes, 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 yes. You've come. Uh, you came to the yes, I did. 
I yeah, Chuck enjoy Andrew, it. Every spring and the fall in Birchwood, we have a plant exchange. I appreciate so this this spring a, you'll have one. And, have, and it's a free. You just bring plants and you take plants home. Or you just like bring plants and leave them and run away. They're <laughs> really good. They're really <laughs> good. Or you come and bring plants home, or you just bring some snacks. And or when Chuck was there, we had our new uh, AED uh, dropped off in Birchwood City Hall, and we had how to use it. And Chuck. You, you, you've talked about, you, you've you had these, but you've never done any training. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah uh, for the resuscitation. And so, yeah, we had, uh, you know, learning about life support and doing the CPR. So that, yeah. Was, yeah, uh, that was a good experience. You, you never quite know what you're <laughs> going to yeah. learn each day. Lifelong learning, truly. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah. anything else you'd like to share, and then we'll have you give your phone numbers or emails. Um, but we really appreciate your availability and okay. being able to work with us and help our community. So thank yeah. you. That's well, good. thanks yeah. again. And yeah. uh, Randy, would you like to share your phone number uh, or your email? Uh, uh, however, and people know where you live, I know. People <laughs> know where I live. It's, uh, use it, this is at uh, LaFoy Stuff, L A F O Y S T U F F, at gmail.com. That's like LaFoy Stuff. Jesus, that's, that's the best, probably the best, most consistent way to get a hold of me by email. So. Okay. And, and Megan? Yeah, and mine is Melvy, M A L V as in Victor, E Y dot Birchwood at gmail dot com. Great. Uh, Megan, Melvy, Randy LaFoy, thanks for your service. Thanks for stopping yeah. by today. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you, Chuck.